Welcome to my tutorial series on built-in functions in Python. Today we are going to learn next two functions namely function all and function any. If you are familiar with logical operators then all function is like logical and operator. All function returns boolean value true when all the elements in the iterable are also boolean true. If any element in the iterable is false then all function returns boolean false. So what exactly are boolean true and false in Python? In Python boolean true is everything except zero and none. None is an another object type in Python. As you can see the truth table we have three variables variable a, b and variable c. So an and operator is only true when all variables are also true. Here you can see the syntax of all function. An iterable is anything that can be looped over like list, dictionary, etc. Let's see some example and try to understand all function. In our first example, all function returns false. Because the first element of list is zero. And we know all function returns only true when all elements are also true. Whereas in second example, all function returns true. Our next example returns false because the last element is false. But what if we remove the last element? We get true as return value. Now I would like to tell you something very important, which is very simple but little confusing at first. What if we have an empty iterable, like an empty list or a dictionary? Surprisingly, we get true as return value. If you look at the implementation of all function, you can understand this very easily. Because all function never execute for loop in case of an empty iterable, so it returns true. Let's move now to the any function. This function returns true if any element in the iterable is true. Here you can think of logical or operator. Now let's see some examples. In our first, second and third example, any function returns true. But if we pass a list with 1 or our elements with value of 0, any function will return false. But what if we pass an empty list like we did in function all? As you can see the implementation of any function, I think you can easily find the answer. Since there is no element in an empty list, any function will return false. I hope you can now understand any and all function. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.